Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. Um, again, I'm gonna talk to you about uh, Archive, our VMS, and this time I'm gonna talk to you about a, a certain feature called LPR, so license plate recognition. Um, I think I've mentioned this in the past on, on, on the software itself. Uh, so license plate recognition, can you can use, it's a software base, so basically you don't need to purchase any specialized camera. You can use cameras that are uh, already on a building, pointing at the right way, of course. There's certain rules to respect. Uh, the demo I'm going to show you, I'm not respecting those rules. So basically the cameras are installed on the top of the building here, which is, uh, I'd say, a minimum of 25 feet, probably 30, 35 feet high, and pointing down towards the, the street. Uh, on each uh, uh, direction of the street here. Um, what I want to show you is that uh, it works really, really well. Um, so let's have a look at the software right now. So uh, what I've done here is uh, there's two different uh, cameras, uh, two different directions. I've also, for, uh, for testing, I've, I've also created a, an event panel for each one of the, uh, uh, of the cameras, uh, which are linked. So basically that's in... I guess another video I can show you. So what happens here with the, the linking of um, uh, the event and uh, the camera uh, as well is that I get directly uh, back to the video playback of that video. So for example, if I press here, here's the license plate showing up and then I can have a look at the result here, uh, play the video short, get a better image and basically what the license plate recognition just noticed is that, yes, it's giving me a suggestion here. It's K03ZRK. It's exactly what it, what it saw. Now, again, this is not the best positioning for, for cameras. The angle is very, very steep. Um, I, I would think that uh, cameras pointing at cars or parking lots um, in entry and exits of different uh, um, um, public spaces where cars are going through, uh, or even on the streets, uh, basically the cameras would be a, a lot lower. I would say, you know, 10 feet, no, no more than 10 feet high. Uh, ideally, probably four or five feet, I would think. Um, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure the angle would be uh, much better and the results would be much better. So I'm going to go on, on another test here. For example, I'll, I'll bring up this one. So I'm going to pause it or bring it back a little frame by frame. Okay, so you're seeing it here. I'll bring it back a, a bit, the test result. Okay, I'm just going to go it up a bit. That's where I caught it. It's a bit blurry, but if I do a step-by-step -step here, we'll probably get a, a nice clear image. Um, so what I'm using here as well is this camera. We have it right here. It's a 12X uh, INS BO2IRW12X, so it's got a 12X zoom. It's probably zoomed uh, to the maximum. Um, to be able to capture those, those images. I'm not sure about the performance at night, but during the daytime and in, in, in clear situations like this, uh, I've seen it perform actually with very dirty plates, uh, slushy snow and everything else, and it captures the plate pretty much uh, uh, every time. So now once all the plates are uh, being captured by the cameras outside the LPR, uh, basically I can also go into the search tab here, which is uh, uh, post analytic. Right, so uh, I, don't, I don't know which plate I'm gonna be looking for. Uh, I can simply search as of uh, this time here, for example, the 16th, maybe a bit during the day. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little search of LPs. So search by LPs, put in a star because it's gonna bring absolutely all the results um, that been, have been captured since you know, 5 a.m. on the 17th, which is uh, today. Okay, let's give it a little time here. I'll close this. Okay, so here are all the results. So you're seeing, I'm gonna put this a bit smaller as a result here. See the results in a bigger page. So the software is capturing, it's all time stamped. There's a date there involved as well. And of course, it's giving the suggestion of what that plate, it thinks what that plate is. So if we're looking here, it's uh, K43ZHQ. If I play the video or step forward a bit and have a better image, you're seeing W56WHM, which is this result here. Sorry, this is the one I was looking for. So it, it's again, the correct result. Um, 
Now, if I wanted to, there's a lot of results. There's a lot of pages here because it captures every license plate that's that's passing by. Uh, I can also, you know, look for this uh, uh, plate here. So W56, uh, WHM is the plate I'm looking for. I'll remove that little star that I had before and do another search and see what the result is. So it's the same one. At 146, I guess it's somebody that works in the area. Uh, 146, he passed by on the 21st and back in December. That's why the search was long. And then there's another one here um, on the 22nd at uh, 1240. Same car, same plate, great result. So thank you very much for tuning in once again. Uh, if you have more questions, you can go on to our website, www.inaccess.com. Please don't forget to subscribe onto our YouTube uh, channel. Um, once you're on our website, uh, don't forget you can reach out to any one of our salespeople across Canada and the U.S. And we'll, it'll be all our pleasure to give you a demonstration, give you a little more uh, insight on how to use this feature um, and also you know, how, it, how it gets programmed in the software as well. It's pretty easy. Welcome. Thank you very much.